Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 11.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. It is Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 12th day of July, 2019 and this is a the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review, and what a strong week we had with gold moving about $16, but continuing that rally. Of course, there were some very, very strong statements made in testimony to Congress by Chairman Powell this week that were supportive of gold prices. The trade war between China and the United States is still in full bloom. Iran, again, is surfacing. And so we've got kind of that perfect storm of a coalescence of multiple events, both geopolitical as well as economic, that are fueling this current rally. Speaking about that, let's take a look at our current pricing. Traders, we had nice moves in the precious metals with the exception of palladium. Gold had a healthy move up $11 today with August futures currently tracking at $1,417.80. It traded to a high of $1,418.90, so just off of the high, and the low today was about $1,404. Platinum, on the other hand, gained only $3 at $833.90. Silver did have some gains today, amounting to about $0.10, and that's at 1525 and lastly, palladium. Palladium actually lost about $18.80 at $1,540.30. And the dollar itself was a little bit weaker, providing some tailwinds for the precious metals as they move higher. Traders, let's take a look at our charts and review the action this week. Traders, no doubt an extremely interesting week we had some good movement this week, about $16 in terms of the weekly rise, with 11 of those dollars actually created today. As you know, we did pull profits earlier this week when our stop was hit at $14.11 and change. Of course, right now the market is what, about $6 above that. But traders, I'm actually okay going in over the weekend neutral with no active trades. And I do want to spend a moment and explain my rationale as to why I did not enter the market today. And that is because of this current model that you see up on the screen. It is daily candlestick charts. We have certainly, certainly seen a compression of range. We've had a series of higher lows and we have had a series of lower highs. That's a compression triangle. We have been in somewhat of a correction because realize we hit 42 here and just under 42 here. Then we had these series of lower highs. And so my sense was that really what we were looking at was a correction that was basically an A, our B, our C, our D. And my sense was that we would get a completed E that would take us to the bottom of this line. And it did not. Of course, it started to move up from this point forward. I had believed we might see a little bit more weakness, but our job is not to catch every single move in the market. What our job is, is to recommend profitable trades, and we did pull a profit this week. Now, in terms of next week, here's what I'm looking at in terms of this current model. If we have follow through buying, we will know that because the market will continue to trade higher, and the key to watch for is this resistance line right here, and that comes in at approximately call it 1425, that is this high right here. A break above that is going to be significant because what that tells me is that we're probably going to make a stab at this record high up at around 1442. And that would be what's called our thrust line. If we get any kind of firmness at the beginning of the week and we see that there's going to be some follow through, we will certainly trigger a buy signal and send that out via trade alert. The other thing that could happen is if we have some weakness, we could still come down and test this support line before moving back up. But I solidly believe that we are still A, within a long-term bullish rally, but B, I'm not convinced that we have completed this correction, although the data right now is pointing to the fact that we in fact might have done just that. 
Traders, therefore, my recommendation is to maintain our neutral stance after having a profitable trade that we took this week. Also, in terms of next week, we want to see how it reacts to the beginning of the week. A continuation of this bullish move today will probably move us through this resistance line. Our targets then would be 1442. That's our first one with our ultimate target at 1478. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.